I found a game engine that's made by Microsoft that looks kind of like Scratch, maybe it's a ripoff. Today I'll be making a game inside of it. Let's go ahead and try it out. Are you ready to make your own games? Complete the tutorial to find out how to follow tutorial prompts, find blocks in the toolbox, and build your own code. Alright, so that looks exactly like Scratch. Just the same thing. We have like the categories of the different blocks. They're named a little bit different. There's only one operator block. Variables. We have if then. Equal. Wait, this should be in the math. This is the operators. The loops, only two blocks. Scene. Music. Ooh, do they have music? Ooh, that thing is cool. So we can drag and make our own music. Let me, what does that sound like? That's a, that's a pretty banging track if you ask me. Yeah, that, that slaps. All right, my assets. What is that? Oh, that's my music. And I can change the instrument? Wait, 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 wait. I wanna, I wanna try dragging. It's a cat that's Scratch. A burger? Ooh, that one sounds really nice. I'm definitely gonna make my own music later on. It's not gonna sound like this though. Why does that actually sound good? All right, so let's follow the tutorial. When you're ready to move to the next step, press next. We like to hide extra info in the clue boxes. Why do you want to do that? Wait, what did I just do? Oh, so this is if you don't know how to read, it'll just take you to this. We. Oui. So are you saying that people that don't know how to read are going to be using these math variables, the logic? That makes sense. Oh, that's cool that you can connect them at school. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just scratch. Oh, well, I want to make an actual game though. They have templates that we can choose from. Let's see. Code save the gal- Oh, I have Avenger monster truck racing tag lemon leak space arcade game. I want to try that one. Oh, it, it, it's a video. It's not an actual game. It's just a tutorial. How do I get to coding? Start new project. Um, bland. Ooh, what's this thing? What's this thing? Is this like a, it's like a Game Boy or something. Am I saving a bunch of images onto my computer? <laughs> I saved a bunch of images. Toggle debug. Wait, JavaScript. Wait, so you can write code and it'll show up in the blocks. That's pretty cool. That's like another scratch ripoff we already reviewed already. Okay, let's try putting a sprite in there. How do I... Where is... Assets. New asset. I want to make an image. Ooh, I could draw a pixel thingy. Um, let's do a smiley face. It's gonna be bad quality, but that's fine. I'm not trying to make a polished game. Perfect. All right, we have a uh, guy there. Ooh, we already have stuff in here. That's some pretty cool art. I like that. Wait, who do I want? I want this monster. It looks like a Pokemon. I want to save this. I don't want to down. Oh, wait, I want to use this. How do I use this? Um, what do I do? What do I do? Add tile. Is it? No, that's not a tile. Oh wait. Oh, I got it. I got it. Add image. And then we could choose the Pokemon guy. Wait, wait, this thing looks cool. All right, done. Now I want to put this into my game. Oh, what do I do? Do I just drag it? Is that did that work? I saw something. Drag. No. Okay. Well, it doesn't want to let me. How do I put this in inside of my game? Oh, blocks. Okay. Now where is my sweet assets? Blocks. How do I put my stuff in here? Okay, I found an hour-long tutorial on this thing. Just show me how to do it. How did he get that thing there? You have to code it in? Wait, 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 hold on. I think I get it now. So sprites, set my sprite to gallery, my assets, done. So you have to put the code to make the sprites. There it goes. Yo, look, my little dog character. Okay, now I want to make a move. How do I make a move? See? Game. What is all of this stuff? I just want forever. Start. Zoom in. Okay, so normally there would be a motion category, but uh, make code just doesn't have that. Extensions. Do we have a move extension? Okay, like you can't make a game without having your character move. It's actually impossible if you can't control it. What did I just do? I don't think I did anything good. Visual effects, naturally. Oh wow, this is really complicated. This is not like Scratch. Whoa, hold on. So they give you instructions on how to read, but it gets that complicated. Okay, okay. I think I found the movement. Whoa, whoa, okay, let's play. Yeah, I got it. So it's set my sprite velocity to, and that is in the sprites for some reason, and stay on screen, it's on. Oh, that's a nice switch. Okay, let's make it move. If he right arrow pressed, he, okay, he um, right set velocity. Why does it have that grid pattern? That's weird to zero. Okay, else if key left arrow minus 15. All right, let's see. There we go. Yo, okay, it's working, but it's like sliding across the screen. I'm not even pressing anything. I need to position. Oh, not positioned. Oh, here it goes. I didn't, I didn't, I did not see that. Okay, here we go. Change X by 10 minus 10. And then we need, um, 
Ooh, I can remove that. That's cool. Very fancy. If key up arrow, change Y by 10 and then minus 10. Oh, that moves really fast. Wait, but if I press up, I'm moving down. And I'm pressing down and I'm moving up. Do you see that? It's so wonky. Okay, I'll invert it, I guess. Strange, but okay. And I can see it in JavaScript over here. It's pretty cool. So now let's add an enemy. So let's go to the assets. Let's see what they have. They got a guy drawing. Wait, what does this mean? What does that ever mean? Um, How about you're avoiding these little dinosaur thingies? I like that. Um, how do I code that in? And we need to add a new sprites to a kind of enemy. <laughs> the smiley face is still there. All right, where is that monster? How about a monkey? Yeah, I'm gonna use the monkey sets. Rename variable. Um, Enemy. Wait, what? What did I just do? Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. Wait, so how am I supposed to program in different sprites? Um, right, so all of the code for the whole game is in one screen, but there's there's no like the enemies in one area and the player is in another. Jeez. Every single person is a middle-aged man or woman and they're using this. Not a single person is a kid. He did that all in just a couple of blocks? How do I control different sprites? So wait, ooh, set uh, my sprite to to follow my sprites. Speed, 20. Okay, where is the enemy? First of all, where did he go? And maybe the enemy is moving along with the player. Hey, but no, it's following. Okay, make a new variable called enemy. What? Okay, um, enemy sprite. Players, <laughs> players, right. Set enemy sprites to follow player sprites. Hey, that means it should be following, right? So where is the enemy? Okay, this is actually confusing. There's a forever block and then there's like on game update. What do all of these mean? Wait, this on created enemy forever. Where is the enemy? Okay, let me just create the enemy. Wait, it's not, the enemy isn't even showing up. And the player is still moving. Refresh, refresh. How is that even happening? On start, make the monkey. Can you not see the monkey? Microsoft, you need to fix this. Okay, something is happening. What is that? Oh, I think there's an error. No? Yeah? Okay. Program error. Oh, look, there goes the monkey, finally. But there's an error. What does that even mean? What? Okay, I think I'm just gonna follow along this tutorial because I can't make a game by myself. It's too confusing. Ready to start coding? Go into the scene category. Set background image to, ooh, gallery. Okay, we got some pretty nice pixel backgrounds. Now what? Um, Click the empty square inside of the background block. Yeah, okay, I already did that. Oh, I need to change it to black and white. Where's that? Now add the mole sprites. Set mole sprite to, I'm assuming we have to choose the mole. Okay, and that's, I don't even know what that is. Is that an enemy or a player? Okay, then, oh, it already has the code for me. Okay, why is the work game working for this guy? For, for this tutorial, now it's working? Are you serious? Did it save mine? Did it save my thing? Please don't tell me there's an error. If there's an error, then I'm done. Yeah, well, I couldn't get this Microsoft Scratch off to work. Something is wrong with it, or there's something wrong with me. I'll see you in another video.